हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एपिसोड ऑफ चैट जीपीए आई हैव अ रियली स्पेशल गेस्ट विद मी टुडे somebody who i have known for quite some years and i know him as a person who wants to make people laugh through his content that he shares online i was in the same field for quite some time that's why i think i know this person and uh, what really inspired me about safa sayed is his journey and what i want to tell you is the person who is sitting with me he has survived cancer he is defeated cancer and he's sitting with me today safas welcome to the podcast chat gpa it's been 3 years since the cancer that you had discovered i want to ask you ki when you first found out how did you find it out because see i know you as a person you're very chill you roam around you like to meet people all of that i'm the same kind of person so for a person like us to find out that we have cancer how was it what was the initial thing how did you find it out so what happened is uh, in 2020 in the month of january i was sleeping and i in my sleep i sh- i started getting a cough mm-hmm. okay so it's it was around 3 o'clock in the night something i woke up and i was coughing and i coughed for like half an hour or something so i thought maybe that time there was covid second wave and all of mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. so i thought maybe it's something that and then i went to sleep then again after another 3 days again i got a cough so okay. it's like i woke up at like 3 3:30 in the night and i was coughing for half an hour so then i told my mother like you know i got a cough like this something so she said okay then we just went to a general physician and then we just told him ki aisa aisa i got a cough mm-hmm. then he is like nothing must be something must be there in the chest or something like that so then later on uh, i told uh, one of my colleague that you know i'm getting cough like that and the doctor asked me to do an x ray so she said uh, why are you doing an x ray do a ct scan mm-hmm. so in that you get to know better right so then when we went to do a ct scan that time we found out that there was there were two nodes over here in the chest okay so these ch- uh, nodes were in the midian midianastal node something you call it mm-hmm. and they were like you know just compressing the node so because of that i was coughing okay okay yeah okay. so that's when we got to know that there is something there and then when we went to the chest specialist he said he said see now the thing is here now to test it it is difficult because you need to do a biopsy and here the lungs are there chest everything there so it's a little difficult so he said until unless he does a biopsy they will not know what it is and after doing a biopsy there are three things one it can be something called sarcoidosis that goes by itself mm-hmm. second he said it could be tb and third it could be cancer mm-hmm. now since i don't drink i don't smoke mm-hmm. none of us thought it could be cancer right. so we were just thinking about these two things okay right. so now to do this test also it was little risky here so they asked us to go to bombay okay, okay. now okay. to go to bombay that time there was you know covid was there and there was this uh, restriction on flying and the uh, covid so th- the whole process got delayed and by then i was like coughing for like continuously 2 hours in a day like okay. if i start at 8 o'clock in the night mm-hmm. i would cough till 10 o'clock like continuous yeah okay so i took it lightly but then my parents were little worried like why is he coughing so much okay even the i stay on the second floor and the person who stayed on the first floor she was asking like who is coughing so loudly i can hear it down like that so then this whole process of get trying to get an appointment and you know everything it it got delayed and by the time we went to bombay and uh, then when we did the test and everything uh, i was wrongly diagnosed as tb okay, okay. so again there was an, i was put on tb medicine for like 40 45 days 45 yeah, days yeah 40 45 days because that's after that much time you meet the doctor so when i took those medicine no i was fine the cough stopped and everything so i thought like ah okay the medicine is doing its work mm-hmm. but then after some time again the symptoms reappeared mm-hmm. so like i was coughing continuously okay i was feeling very weak like coming back from work and everything so then i thought like you know maybe there is still something and then yeah we went to manipal here there are so many hospitals we did like several blood tests you know and the everything was good so sometimes what happens your uh, diagnosis is not done and you think you are all good so and you are like all happy chalo ah, okay chalo it's all good you know that so in, then what we did is uh, after 45 days we went there again to bombay and then when we went there um, and by that time actually one doctor had told us like if you get a node here no in the chest 
after some time like 6 months you have to wait after 6 months you get it here in the groin sorry the groin or in the armpit area or the neck so after 6 months i got it here in the oh, neck oh. so this biopsy was very easy to do because like you just have to take a piece from here here it was difficult because it's inside yeah. and you know they are like uh, this cancer and this tb and the sarcoidosis they are like uh, twins okay. so it's difficult to distinguish what is what Okay. So the doctor also like you know he saw my report and you know he kept wondering like he put a question mark TB sarcoidosis and then he said it was TB mm-hmm. during the first uh, part yeah. and then later when I went there and then he did the test that time he said it was cancer okay. so the whole process which started in January as a cough in November it was okay. found out yeah so like ten eleven months it took me to realize that. Okay, it is cancer. Uh-huh. So this is how we got to know that it's cancer. Okay. You know, so you're telling me that from your normal life that we all have, one day you just randomly started coughing at yeah, night, yeah, just like that. Yeah, just like that. And then I thought it was COVID. See, actually, see, I've been very, I mean, okay, I do eat out, like, but then that's the balance that I do. Okay. Like, like, see, I, I used to do intermittent fasting for a very mm-hmm. long time. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I or every day I used to work out. Okay, even like then during COVID we started working out in the house. Mm-hmm. So even if I come home late, I would still work out before I sleep. Yeah. I mean, and I would eat healthy as well. Like at home, I would eat all these uh, vegetables and broccoli, these boiled vegetables, and you know all all these things. Yeah. And despite doing all this, okay, weekend I used to go out. Okay, and I used to eat. Okay, yeah, that's that, that, once yeah. But in then a while. yeah, that's like the weekend. It's like a cheat meal. Okay. Otherwise, I would balance. and then but then a lot of people used to say like oh you used to eat out maybe that's why it happened and you know all of these so all these things happened and then um, yeah so that's when i got to know we those okay and so from a normal person to finding out that you have cancer how did you take it as a person like in your mind how did you feel like what did you think when you first found out that I have cancer. Like, if I find that out, my world will be flipped upside down. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So, so what happened is, and we went there. No, before going to Bombay, I just checked out the symptoms of all these three things they had told me, like yeah. you know, TB, sarcoidosis, and cancer. Yeah. Okay, I saw all this, and I told my mom, Mama, I said. Uh, the symptoms no there i think you know it can be cancer also but then she was like no she said nahi allah hamare sath itna bura nahi karega she said like this. so i also thought because see i don't drink i don't smoke this was like my main thing people who drink people who smoke get cancer i don't drink so i will not get it so this was the thought but then when i got it i matlab mean, i saw that word like you know hodgkin lymphoma on the hmm. report hodgkin lymphoma yeah, that's so what that's when i and i only went to collect the matlab me and my father we went there okay and I, and i took the report and i had done my research no what is yeah. what so the moment i saw the report i was like Kach! you know <laughs> i felt that heart beat and like okay and then what happened i sometimes i think a little you know over so the moment i saw it i thought ha huh, it can be stage 4 or only like mm-hmm. that so but then when we spoke to the doctor and all so the doctor was also a little you know like a very strict guy He's like how you have this principles in school you know like mm-hmm. that so he wouldn't just listen to what we were saying you know he was just check the report he had an assistant who would tell everything like that you know and then um, so to talk to him also no he would just you know cut us off and he would only say whatever he wants to like that but then that day he was he was totally different like you know he was like okay see you got this where you want to take the treatment you want to take it in goa you want to take it in bombay like that so that day yeah so that day he was fine and then then when i came out like we saw the report and then uh, it was me and my dad we were we were in bombay then my brother called okay and then he's like he was he's in italy so he called he's like uh, kya hua report i said na koi sawal puchho na koi jhoot suno aisa <laughs> Like you, what happened? I was like, I said, that was the new one. It was cancer. I said, yeah. He started crying. Okay, so that was like that part because I don't know because he was far away, no? Because and he has seen me struggling all these nine, ten months, coughing all the time and doing so many tests. You know, empty stomach, going to pan gym, doing so many tests, getting pricked so many times, and all of this. So he knew about all of that. And then when I came home from Bombay, that time I didn't go in the house first. Like I waited outside. so that my dad goes inside and my handles my mother and then then after some time i went but that time also did not say anything much or you know didn't ask anything 
and that and then yeah and then uh, my dad said see now it is something serious now we have to start your treatment from tomorrow and i'm telling him uh, no i need to go to work tomorrow we'll do it start it over the weekend but the, i was very much dedicated to my job also like you know i won't get a leave you know what happens once a person starts working so he feels that like no no work is worship you have to go to work you cannot miss it like that mm-hmm. so that is the thing wow man that's crazy i went mean, to just even think that something like this would happen to a perfectly normal person and as you said you don't drink you don't smoke right. so i'm sure your world might have just completely flipped over um how did your mom and dad take it if you could tell us like what was their reaction and uh actually i've lost a cousin to cancer actually another okay. uncle also to cancer so you know um, so it's there in the family so yeah. i don't know now it is hereditary or what and my parents i think they were very strong you know see if they break down and looking at my parents cry then even i would break down but they were very strong so you know yeah they were okay whenever they had to cry maybe i think my mom used to go to the washroom yeah, and, you know, yeah totally. but she would not show it like all this while uh, but then the thing that motivated me you know was when when guests would come home no uh, they would uh, if some somebody comes and then you know my relative came and she would like you know one of my aunt she came home and she said no don't worry even my father had he, he was hmm. 85 years old and you know he managed it very nicely don't worry you are young and also i was like okay if he can do it why why not me ओके बट देन वन आंट केम शी सॉ मी एंड शी स्टार्टेड क्राइंग लाइक बाबा क्या हुआ तेरे को हम गॉड इज नॉट टेकिंग अवर ओल्ड पीपल इज टेकिंग ऑल यंग पीपल लाइक यू आर फॉलोइंग सिक लाइक दिस एंड शी स्टार्टेड क्राइंग शी स्टार्टेड क्राइंग माय डैड स्टार्टेड क्राइंग डैड स्टार्टेड क्राइंग मॉम शाय रन अवे इन साइड आई वुड ऑल्सो स्टार्ट क्राइंग एवरीबॉडी वुड स्टार्ट क्राइंग आई सेड सी आई आई कैन नॉट एंटरटेन सच रिलेटिव्स यू नो व्हेन आई एम ऑलरेडी एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ माय लाइफ ओके बट द अदर आंट हु केम शी वाज वेरी मोटिवेटेड सो दैट काइंड वाज ओके बट दिस टाइप वाज यू नो वेरी दिस तुझे हॉस्पिटल स्ट्रगल्स मे बी यू कि संगू शकता मैं तू कि हाँ एक तुझो पोस्ट वाचलो हमें तुवें बरयला कि बोमलेजेर सत्रह इंजेक्शन मारता कि सो वॉट इज ऑन युअर स्टमक कि इंजेक्शन मारता ना हॉस्पिटल मैं पैली क्या हॉस्पिटल मैं मजे हत हॉस्पिटल मैं सगले लोग बरे ना सगले और इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर सामके ते मजे मैंड नाशि पुण हाँ जेना हमें मनीपाला गेलो नी आई वॉज लाइक वाव इतना बोर हॉस्पिटल आसा का बड़ोर असले यू नो यू मतलब वॉशरूम वो सो क्लीन लाइक यू नो लाइक आईनॉक्सा भाषे बोर हाँ मैं हाँ मैं वो बोर हाँ मैं हाँ हंगा क्या मैं एक्चुअली माइ डैड टोल्ड मी दैट वी शूड टेक द ट्रीटमेंट इन टाटा क्या दैट इज लाइक नोन फॉर कैंसर करेक्ट हाँ कित मैं तो बॉम्बे हंगा तो परत पर ये जो ट्रैवल कर पड़ा सो हमें मैं थे गए सो पैली थे घर मगर ते सगले कर परत रिलैप जाना टाटा गए जेना टाटा गए कहले कि बाबा हॉस्पिटल कश कि आसता थे सारे सो यू नो हरशी के बॉम्बे वो मॉलान बिलान भोता सगले बड़े स्टाइलिश लोग बड़े बड़े कैफे भी पता हंगा जेना तू पता वता नहीं तू ती रियालिटी पता को नाक पाइप घाला को हाथ ना को व्हील चेयर आ को पाय ना यू नो ला यंग चिल्ड्रन लाइक इतने भूगे आसा सगले हाथी हंगा आईवी लेंस घाला सगले ये आसा सगले सो ते पोन तू सामको ये जता कि अरे बाबा आता आनी हॉस्पिटल इतना टाइम रोच पड़ता क्या सका टाइम गेलो नी तू अपमेंट घुका बाय द टाइम यू आर आउट इट इज लाइक फोर ओ क्लॉक फाइव ओ क्लॉक अच्छे दोन दिन वर तीन तीन वर बिस्टे अपॉइंटमेंटा अच्छे बस बसन रहा पड़ता है ट्रीटमेंट वाइज ओके ट्रीटमेंट हॉस्पिटल रूम भी के सारे मेटल पुण क्या अच्छे लोग अदता बसप बसप सोड़ उबो रहा जागो आसना हॉस्पिटल डॉक्टर भाई अच्छे सो तुम आख आखो दीस वा तुझो एक तू तुम गेलो नी तट्रगल मैं कि हम जेना लोक पो नी हाँ पप्पा विचार पेजे केस गला मजे केस वे तेजे पे फ्त आयब्रोज आसा बाकी सगले गला मजे वे पाइप घाला घे का पाइप लोग इतने वीक जता धरून दाका जाए बट लेटर ऑन जे हमें विचार सगले जाए इतले सगे जाए तुवें स्वता मोटिवेट कसो के फगेट अबाउट मोटिवेशन फ्रॉम आउटसाइड पेरेंट्स आसते दे स्टैंड बाय यू बट कि वेन यू आर अलोन दैट टाइम युअर थॉट्स वील कम टू हॉन्ट यू तुझे विचार त्रास करते सो एक्चुअली फर्स्ट मैं हमें नी आई टू कैंसर एज अ कस सो वेन आई गॉट टू नो कि कैंसर जो आई डीट वॉन्ट पीपल टू नो ओके 
I thought what people will look at me like I thought fail. I mean, like you have failed in life, kind of. You know, I I thought like that. Like anybody will see me and they will think he take a shower, laugh, see, to borrow, na, ache. You know, so ma kama she ya zale. And I was trying to hide it. I'm like doctor, and kitun like I na six months and borrow zatlo. So I chitle kitun six months and borrow zatlo. Magi ra sang tala mund. Mund ta she zau na the the journey went on like for one and a half year, two years. So she zagre ya zale. सो माका ते पैली अशे जाय मागीर हांव कित करे हांवें हांवें लोकांक बी अवॉयड करपा लागलो आय लेफ्ट माय फ्रेंड सर्कल मागीर सगळे कोणाक रिलेटिव्ह लग्नाक बिग्नाक सगळे सोशल सगळे बंद केले हांवें खंय वचपाचे बी अशे हांवें केले किद्या म्हाका कितें दिसताले कोणी अशे मनीस म्हाका पय वळखीचो मेळो न्ही म्हाका हांव चिंततालो हांव एका खबर आसा का हो म्हाका विचारतलो काय हो विचारल्या नंतर सांगू काय नाका सांगू सांगू जाल्यार कितलो सांगू सगळे सांगू आणि कित्या ते इतले सगळे करून म्हाका परत रिलॅप जाले ते म्हाका विचारता अरे तुवें ते ट्रिटमेंट कशे चल्ला सक्सेसफूल आसा कितें सांगू तेका फील जाला म्हणून म्हाका हे जाता न्ही अशें उलोवपाक सो कोण क्लोज फ्रेंड आशिल्ले तेंका हांवें सांगले पय म्हणले म्हाका म्हाजे मातशी कितें प्रॉब्लम आसा ते हांव तू म्हाका विचार नाका कितें आसा ते आनी हांवें तुका सांगपा ना म्हणले ओके अशें कितें आसा ते सो तशें करून आय स्टार्टेड कटींग ऑफ पिपल विकेंडाक फ्रेंड्स फोन करता खंय आसा फोन बी घेवप ना कोणाचे मेसेजी अशे करप ना वॉट्सएप ग्रुप बी सोडले सगळे बिकॉज आय वॉज इन माय ओन स्ट्रगल तशें हे आशिल्ले एंड मागीर कितें जाले आय वॉज अलोन ऑल्सो लायक यू नो इन द आय सी यू एन इन दॅट आयसोलेशन एन ऑल फॉर अ व्हेरी लॉंग टायम फॉर लायक फॉर्टी फॉर्टी डेज ऑर समथिंग आय वॉज अलोन आय वॉज अलोन सो तेन्ना हांव कसो हे करता लोकांक कितें करताना अशे एकटो बी आसल्यान तेंका वाज येता थोडे लोकांक पळय आख्खो दीस घरान रावपा बी तेंका वाज येता सायन्स जाले की तेंका मातशे बायक भायर भायर वचपा जाय बायक घेऊन वचपा जाय तशें सो आय वॉज इन द हॉस्पिटल लायक फॉर सो लॉंग माय पेरंट्स ऑल्सो कुडंट मीट मी नथींग लायक यू नो जस्ट अ विंडो बिटवीन अज लायक जाय इतले आशिल्ले सो तेन्ना न्ही सायकॅट्रिस्ट धाडटाले ते विचारपाक तू कसो आसा कितें आसा तूं कितें चिंतता अशें चिंतता तुकाच कित्या जाले अशें सो हांव ते विचारले म्हाका तूं कितें चिंतता अशें रातचे बीन अशें हांवें म्हणलें आय म्हणले आय एम अ लिटल बीट ऑफ एन इन्फ्लुएन्सर सो माय माइंड इज ऑल अबाउट यू नो हाव टू एडिट व्हिडिओज हाव टू पूट कॅप्शन्स हाव टू मेक अ व्हिडिओ बेटर सो हांव दीस भर थंय बसून तेच करता इवन जेन्ना डॉक्टरागेर अपॉयमेंट घेवपा वताले न्ही हांव भायर हंगाच्यान सगळे फोटो बिटो काढून व्हरतालो थंय थंय गेले की थंय बसून सगळे एडिटींग तेंचे व्हिडिओ तेंचे कॅप्शन हे ते 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 सगळे हांव थंय बसून हांव करतालो भायर हितून तशें सो दॅट कॅप्ट मी लायक व्हेरी बिझी यू नो व्हेरी ऑक्युपायड ना तू अशें चिंतत रावता हांवें डॉक्टराक सायकॅट्रिस्टाक विचारलं यू थिंक आय एम डिप्रेस्ड ऑर आय एम स्ट्रेस इज लायक नो ओनली थिंग आय फील दॅट यू आर लिटल एन्शियस लायक यू नो वॉट विल हॅपन सो तू म्हणटा की बिकॉज यू कॅप्ट युअर सेल्फ बिझी इट वॉज इझियर फॉर यू बट आय वॉन्ट ऑल्सो टू नो लायक वेन द थॉट्स डिड आय एम शुअर यू मस्ट हॅव हॅड सम थॉट्स वेन दे डिड कम हाव डिड यू टॅकल दोज बिकॉज लायक when most people janna te garan ekta asta that time they cannot handle their own selves like the voices in their head so how did you tackle or how did you answer them or what did you tell these voices that i am going to make it or you don't have a say in this uh when i used to go to bombay no my only thing was what just finish everything and come back so my main thing was to come back to goa because that is like it's it for me it was like that is like a boarding school and this is my home so i just wanted to come home all the time okay but then we had to travel so many times up down up down okay after every 20 days i had a chemo so i had to after 20 days come back okay that's it so my main thing was later on it was such it it was such that okay now i am going there now i will come back only when i am fine okay that's it so is je sagle bitar aye ti bike hui getli ओके स्पोर्ट्स बाईक घेतली सो माय थिंग वॉज वॉट ओके आय नीड टू बी फिट आय नीड टू बी फाईन सो दॅट आय कॅन गो अँड आय कॅन एन्जॉय माय लाईफ ओके आय हॅड लाईक सटन थिंग्स ऑन माय बकेट लिस्ट लाईक यू नो लाईक वॉचिंग इंडिया पाकिस्तान लाईव एन गोईंग फॉर टुमॉरो लँड अँड हे सगळे सो टू डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स आय वॉन्टेड टू कम बॅक ओके ते आता मुन्नाबायन तो कसे म्हणतात त्या म्हणता पण पिक्चरां तुका कॅन्सल झाला बी तुम सब काम निपटा क्या हो एक दिन मे बोलते एक दिन मे सब काम होयगा घर लेना आहे बहन की शादी करणी आहे मा को हज लेके जाणं आहे ही हीच थिंग वॉज लाईक माय थिंग वॉज नो नो घर आगे बाईक चलानी आहे टुवरलँड जाणं आहे इंडिया पाकिस्तान मॅच देखणी आहे सो दिस वॉज सो आय वॉन्ट टू एन्जॉय माय लाईफ ओके बिकॉज आफ्टर ऑल दिस दॅट हॅज हॅपन आय रिअली डिझर्व टू एन्जॉय आफ्टर सच अ लॉंग टाईम आफ्टर टू इयर्स ॲब्सोल्युटली ब्रो आय थिंक आय थिंक दॅट्स अ रिअली ग्रेट मेसेज दॅट anybody who's watching will understand and hear about is that you should have something to look forward to that and as safas said like if he goes to bombay 
he wants to come back to goa he wants to come back home and that's like something to look forward to i think that's a very beautiful beautiful thing to have in life like to the thoughts to have in life that yes i have something to look forward to and i'm sure your family was the main reason why you know you pushed through all of this and they were the people that you look forward to come yeah. back to them and yeah. you know ride the bike and all of that for us men i think bike rides are everything bro mm-hmm. <laughs> like in the evening sometimes i feel down i'm like mom i'll just go for a bike ride and come back take my keys take my himalayan out and a uh, lot of fun okay so far i've got i think about 2 3 2 3 small questions for you now that we've talked about your journey your motivation or your struggles i want to ask you uh in 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 all of this it's it's more of a philosophical question in all of this how do you see god's role what what do you think like you know when we suffer we think okay god is punishing us but how did you see it i want to know uh god or see first what i did first when i was diagnosed with cancer i asked all the doctors the maka cancer kira galo okay is it because i was intermittent intermittent fasting for a long period was it because i was eating out okay was it because of my lifestyle like each and every possible aspect i asked them but they said no okay they said like you know itle lokha cancer jata in the every year okay us is spending so many millions on research to know the cause but still they are not able to know the cause only when it happens they can take some measures right okay to stop it tashe manle so te mande ke mage rame chitle maybe you know i said the spiritual रिजन्स लाइक हमें को वाइट के देवा क्या बोले लगू ना क्या अः सो हमें तो सुधा चितले सो दो हमें चितले कि आता खंच एक आई एक्चुअली मेड अ लिस्ट एंड आई सेंड इट ऑन माई वॉट्सएप ग्रुप लाइक यू नो दीज आर द टेन रिजन दैट आई मस्ट हैव डन दैट्स वाई आई गॉट दीज सिग्नल अः सो तू दो हूँ चिंता तू सायटिफिकली सायटिफिकली चिंता मैं तू हे सैडीन चिंता कि हाँ अश जाए क्या अ So, but then I knew that you know that I never asked God like why me, okay? Mm. Because He has blessed me with so much like you know over the years that I had a very good life, okay? So I can not say chitu na ki maybe I thought like okay this is a challenge like you know God will not burden me more than my shoulders can take. So she went up. So she so I thought ki you know okay I'll just get through it and I yeah I was my prayers and everything I I would still do. So she can not say. देवे के अ राग आर अके ना नेवर लाइक आई टू वेन एव आई कूड आई कूड प्रे इवन द हॉस्पिटल आई वूड प्रे यू नो वेन एव आई कूड सो आई माय फेथ इन गॉड वाज ऑलवेज देर अना एंड एंड देन यू नो लाइक माय फादर्स फ्रेंड्स यू नो दे ऑर्गनाइज पूजा इन द टेम्पल ओके एंड देन माय क्रिस्टन फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो दे ऑल्सो आज द फादर टू प्रे फॉर मी इन द चर्च एंड यू नो सो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल वे प्रेइंग लाइक यू नो नोन अन नोन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल वे प्रेइंग Yes, but only thing like I had not disclosed by then, so not many people knew. Like people knew, meaning they like heard that Baba Tom has a Corona, Asha. But they did not know the intensity. When yeah. I posted a photo and they saw it, then that thing got cut. The change. Ah, then that thing got cut. Like Baba, it was a lot. Like Asha, what do I say? Otherwise, they used to think that Asha is a lot. Asha, Asha. Even once, why recently I met a guy. Okay, he's asking me like uh, recently a new friend. So hmm. yeah, he's asking me. Uh, Uh, मैं सुना तुरे को कैंसर हुआ है आई मैं बोले हाँ थोड़ा है कुछ ओके ओके एंड इज टेलिंग मी नहीं मेरे को कोई बोला तेरे को कैंसर हुआ है मैं उसके साथ झगड़ रहा हूँ कैंसर हुआ तो हमारे साथ घूमने को कैसा आता है बाइक भी लेके आता है ऐसा देन इज आस्किंग मी तेरे को जो हुआ है वो छोटा वाला कैंसर है बड़ा वाला कैंसर है ऐसा बिकॉज इन जस्ट बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट्स टू नो द इंटेंसिटी यू नो वॉट यू हैज हर्ड फ्रॉम पीपल एंड ही सींग मी यू नो लाइक दैट तसे जाए I think I think uh, what Safaz has said, they just just are saying like, you know, Dev, I mean, I mean, Deva, kade kena vicharta ki maka ashe kiraak dilay tu hai, and pun jana bare tata then I mean, sir, she yad kari na. So I think that's a beautiful message. That you must be grateful for everything that you always have, and when bad things zata man chagade, and as Safaz said, ki he will not give you a burden which you can't carry. So I think that's a really really beautiful message. Safaz to come to the end of this uh, podcast i would like to ask you if you could give some message to the people who are listening uh, perhaps to people one who are suffering from something be it cancer be it anything any kind of disease and two to people who are perfectly healthy what message would you give them about life 
ओके अबाउट लाइफ फर्स्ट थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू से टू पीपल इज दैट यू नो यू शुड हैव अ मेडिकल पॉलिसी ओके दैट इज वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग बिकॉज वेन आई वेंट थ्रू दिस कैंसर रिक्वायर्स अ लॉड ऑफ मनी ओके एंड यू मस्ट हैव सीन लाइक पीपल आर रेजिंग फंड फॉर्चुनेटली वी डिड नॉट हैव टू डू दैट बट द कॉस्ट इज वेरी हाई ओके यू नो द डॉक्टर टेल्स यू समथिंग लाइक यू नो सी देर आर थ्री ऑप्शन ए बी सी ऑप्शन ए विल कॉस्ट यू फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड ऑप्शन बी विल कॉस्ट यू फोर लैक्स ऑप्शन सी विल कॉस्ट यू सेवन लैक्स विच वन डू यू वॉन्ट ओके दिस इज ऑप्शन ए इज लाइक फिफ्टी परसेंट गारंटीज बी इज सेवेंटी एंड सी इज एटी परसेंट सो दे गिव यू सच ऑप्शन बेस्ड ऑन योर फाइनेंशियल यू हैव टू पिक विच विच वन यू वॉन्ट लाइक दैट सो आई थिंक हैविंग अ मेडिकल पॉलिसी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट थिंग एंड सेकेंडली टू गेट मोटिवेटेड इज लाइक यू नो सी अर्लियर इट वॉज फॉर मी इट वॉज लाइक ओ गई एवरी डे वेक अप वर्क आउट गो गो टू वर्क कम बैक लुक आफ्टर द कैफे सो यू नो आई वॉज वेरी मच बिजी विद दैट बट आफ्टर दिस आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू दिस फायर आई रियलाइज कि लाइफ इज नॉट ओनली अबाउट वर्किंग एंड पेइंग बिल्स यू ऑल्सो नीड टू हैव अ गुड टाइम यू ऑल्सो नीड टू एन्जॉय ओके यू नीड टू सो नाव आई एम लिविंग अ वेरी स्लो लाइफ ओके सो लाइक ओके आई लुक आफ्टर माई कैफे ओके ऑल ऑफ दैट बट देन जस्ट बींग यू नो लाइक सी आई हाव आई टोल्ड यू माई डैड इज टेलिंग मी विल स्टार्ट योर ट्रीटमेंट फ्रॉम टुमारो आई एम टेलिंग यू नो आई डोंट हैव लीव I will start it on Saturday because this is what the job does to you. No, at times you are like, no, no, you have to go to work. No, you will not get leave. Your leaves are getting exhausted. So this is what a person thinks. It's like we work and earn money, and then the same money we put it in our sickness. That's why we don't take care of our health. That's another thing. And third is uh, see. Uh, when you have cancer you should not take it as a curse like in my case how i took it as a curse and then when i shared my journey that time i got a lot of love and lot of affection from people and prayers and everything so earlier i used to think like no i used to hide you know i used to think like oh, okay what if he asks me so i didn't want to talk about it but then when i was open about it and then a lot of people and then i again i would could also help people like you know give people guidelines and i get so many calls like at certain time there was this time where every day i was talking to one cancer patient from because of my reel getting viral okay. like from different parts of the country like somebody you know uh, somebody who did not he just messaged me like you know i have so and so and like it was a similar uh, disease and then we contacted and then i asked him like how did he he reached to me he said uh, he was diagnosed with cancer and the doctor said something like chemotherapy so he just searched on instagram what is chemotherapy mm -hmm. and then my reel turned up first so then he contacted me and then we exchanged numbers and i we spoke so that's how it helps you know so i could guide him like what happens is that everything all of that i think uh, i think that's absolutely beautiful and uh, the fact that safas while he was suffering he was speaking to other cancer patients and uh, he was helping them out through their journey I think to this i think my take away from this would be that in the midst of everything that you are going on you have going on in your life be a beacon of hope for people i i think we can relate to that with like like our parents for example like they go through so much they don't tell us more than mm. they don't tell us anything but they are still available for us they take care of us i think that's that's really beautiful this this service that we do for people and uh, i'm sure in the previous episode you might have heard mr sanjay patil also say something very similar where he says that in order to find the divine or god you must do service that is help people people who are around you help them out do everything you can in your possible you know help that you can give to them so safas thank you so much this yeah. with this we come to the end of another chat gpa episode for my goa network i would want you to go like share subscribe send this video to maybe somebody who's suffering or maybe to somebody who's not suffering and is just feeling low in life for them to realize that life is actually very beautiful am i right safas yes it's indeed. it's the way you see it in the midst of all of this if safas can see a ray of hope a ray of light to come back home to take his bike out for a ride and you know to take his car go meet his friends and do whatever he loves to do i think we should all learn something from this particular podcast with that safas thank you so much okay. god bless you we wish you the best of health and the best of you know your future for i i know you want to get back to work like full fledged that's something that you love to do i wish you a best bike ride ever maybe mm -hmm. we'll go for a bike ride someday yes. i'll get my himalayan you get your booza 
So thank you so much, Safas. God bless. Thank you, guys. See you. Take care.